In today's Minecraft Factions episode, I'm going to be showing you guys the most overpowered base ever as literally a duo. I really hope you guys do go ahead and enjoy this episode. I think it's really, really awesome and you guys will enjoy it. Subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. And let's go ahead and get into it. Yo, yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? I hope you guys did go ahead and enjoy that new intro thingy. Thank you, Mr. Andy. You guys already know the vibes. But yeah, everybody, we're back here on Kraken MC, back on their three-day Venomous map. Map is starting to lose players but i mean it is quite understandable it's literally a three-day map most factions have actually been raided so if i do f top right now you guys can see we're literally ranked number seven i don't really want to be showing my coordinates and stuff but yeah number one we got crippin blacklist rolex duo iCal, and genero so yeah those are the factions that are currently competing for that number one reward and i personally believe that crippin is going to be the faction that's actually going to win that they play on here a ton and you know they got literally 10 billion dollars so i mean it shouldn't be too hard for them however from last video i've gone ahead and joined this really awesome guy by the name of diamond brick he was talking to me he was asking me some questions and stuff i helped him out he invited me to his faction and i'm basically going to be showcasing our super op kind of duo base to you guys today so you guys can see right here we have a really large sugarcane farm considering that there's only two of us on right now so if i do such pv1 let me get my harvester hoe out let me just put everything away and i want to show you guys how this works if you guys have been following, I guess, my, like, cane guide thingies and whatever, things like that, you guys already know how this actually works. But, yeah, so I can right-click this hoe, it says. Um, I don't know why. Let's actually do a kit real quick. Kit starter? Does that come with it? Kit weekly. Rank it. I don't know why my thing's not working. I'm not completely sure. That's very, very odd, not gonna lie. But basically, the way that this hoe is supposed to work is it's, it also has really OP custom engines, which you can actually receive crakies and stuff from. So that's one way to be making a lot of money on the server. But yeah, I guess I'll use it because why not? But yeah, you guys can see this is a ginormous sugarcane farm. I don't know the exact dimensions by this, but for two people, this is more than enough. And just so you guys know, there's actually two layers of it as well, which is also really, really nice. So we're going to run a quick little time lapse. Mr. Andy, get that cool little time lapse music rolling. And let's go ahead and get into it. And there we go, everybody. That is the end of that time lapse. I know it was extremely short. However, I mean, eh whatever right so we got nearly two rows of sugar cane which is quite a ton if you guys do go ahead and ask me i'm gonna kind of put this under pull away so yeah we got around a, a row and like almost three stacks so that's really really good we're gonna do a little sell all um no items as well we'll go to the shop real quick go right here boom boom easy free cash 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 money baby sugar cane is going absolutely insane now, the next thing which I actually want to showcase from this base is, I mean, yeah, this kind of got raided. Not going to talk about it. I mean, whatever. Like, there's only a sugarcane farm in here, so it doesn't matter too much. But the next thing which I want to actually showcase is the one and only Blaze Grinder, which that's pretty good. And we can actually make some really OP god sets from that, which is what I'm actually aiming for. I'm going to do GK real quick. I, do I have any G kits? No, I don't have any of these G kits. I might have to actually message staff for them. But just because of that, it's going to even make our life easier. So we're going to go to home, home. I have two homes I'm going to showcase in today's episode. And now that we're here, we're at the corner. I mean, you guys can probably find out where this is. There really isn't much loot in this corner, to be like honest with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and break into this real quick. And you guys can see this is where the blaze grinder thing, whatever you want to call it, is currently located at. So if I do F top real quick, go over our name, we, at the current moment, we have 17 blazes, which is around $8 million worth of value. So I'm going to go ahead and help out the faction a little bit. We're going to do this shop, we're going to go to the spawner section, and we're going to purchase, I would say maybe around 10 blazes for around $10 million. So that should really, really help. So there we go. We're going to even this out boom 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 it doesn't really matter too much and now if we look at f top we have 70 million dollars which is a lot better and we have so many more blazes so that's going to be really really op let me just go slash home home once again because i really don't want to use the i can i should have probably used that gate thingy whatever okay so right here yeah you guys can see that there a lot of blazes are actually spawning in right now at the current moment there's around like 340 ish and it's like a never-ending cycle. I'm going to go ahead and lower my master volume real quick. There we go. But yeah, you guys can see it spikes up to 400. So if one person is grinding at this farm, it is really, really OP. 
I can actually go ahead and also sell all the blaze rods and make a little bit of extra cash from that as well. So I guess you guys can say it's a sort of income and you can also set up. Another really awesome thing which the server actually has is credits. So if I do such credit shop, um, just credits. I don't know why it's currently not working for me, but there's basically a credit shop where you can go ahead and spend all these credits for a bunch of really OP things such as crate keys, um, P6 armor sets, bosses I believe even, just a bunch of really OP stuff in general. So yeah, that's what that is basically used for. We're gonna go ahead and put away the blaze rods for the time being. There we go. We've gone ahead and finished with that. You guys saw my blaze grinder thingy. It's mostly thanks to him because I only got around 10 spawners. He got around 20. So yeah, now we have a pretty nice little blaze grinder. And we're gonna head on to the next thing which I'm showcasing in today's episode. Which is the best thing? The most OP spawner layout thing ever. So let's go ahead and do such home home too real quick. And alright guys, I've just gone ahead and headed over here. Yeah, you guys can see Diamond Brick is right here. So yeah, this is where all their spawners are currently at. Can't really see the names of them, but they're basically going into this chunk collector and then it's going into Diamond Brick's balance. So if I bow him, he has $1.4 million and that's going to keep on going up. So that's going to be really, really awesome. So we're going to come down here. This is just a little platform where they're currently dying on. That's the blaze grinder down there. And if I do F top, I'm going to show you guys how many things we have as literally a two man. So I donated to him around $50 million with our spawners because that's what I received from my crakies. If you guys haven't watched the latest, vi the last video, the one before this, then you guys would be able to know. So you guys can see, if I hover over my name right here, we have 10 villager spawners, which is equal to $40 million. I got, I believe I got seven of them um, in the last episode. We got zero creepers, zero pigmen, and then we also have 22 blazes, which is really, really nice. So I don't know if he placed the pigment or not because I gave him some of those spawners. However, it doesn't really matter too much. When we get those placed down, we should be having around $100 million. So that's really OP. I don't think we've also set up a base. So, you know, please don't come raid us. I'm probably going to set that up off camera with him. But yeah, in terms of money, we're currently located at number seven. I think we're going to try to aim like this um, dinner roast thing. So we'll do F who dinner row. Yeah, there's only literally one person online because, I mean, it is a three-man's map, I believe. So, yeah, if I do F list. Yeah, it's a three-man's map. We got two online right now. They got one. Maybe I'm, we're able to raid that. However, because this is such a short map, I literally can't get three videos out every single, like, three videos out since it's three days and I don't got that much time. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. He just asked me if I'm recording. Yes. Okay. So now I want to do some other cool, cool things, and that's mainly just setting up my PV and stuff for PvP off camera. Once again, I'm extremely sorry that that won't be on camera. So yeah, we're going to get into that. So if I do such PV1 right now, you guys saw me just basically throwing a bunch of armor sets in here because I was a little bit angry that I, I, I forgot what I wasn't able to do, but I was just a little bit cheesed. So we're going to go ahead and get all my really, really good armor. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, the toxic tools are pretty good. The chaotic sword is extremely good. So let's go ahead and get all the things that I, I guess are good. Um, let's keep on going some of that. That's pretty nice. And yeah, that should be good enough, I believe. I don't know where one of my toxic armor pieces is at. However, it doesn't really matter too much. So we're going to go ahead and actually throw all this away. He cannot collect TNT. That kind of sucks. So yeah, now we're going to go ahead and literally just, I guess, sort this. Let me throw some of this garbage stuff out. So yeah, that's, I mean, you know, we're not going to sort it. All right, we're just going to put all the swords on one section and then put all the tools in one section and then all the armor in one section and all the cool items in one section. That should be good enough, I believe. Um, It's not very well, I guess, like, eh, I didn't do it too well, but whatever, okay? We have an extra armor set to PvP with, which is really, really nice, considering the fact that it's better, basically better than my Venom set, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, I think that's actually going to wrap up today's episode here on Kraken MC. I'm very sorry for the fact that it was pretty short and I didn't do too much awesome stuff in this. I really got to push out these videos in a very short period of time. Plus, I'm recording OP Legends Prisons right now. So yeah, I apologize and yeah i really hope you guys did go ahead and enjoy this episode have a great rest of your day and peace out everybody stay safe